ANC General Secretary Gwede Mantashe says the party should elect Cyril Ramaphosa as president and find a female deputy for succession to be well managed. Speaking at the Oartambo lecture held at Okwanok Tula Hall in Plettenberg Bay, Mantashe reportedly said the ANC owed an explanation if Ramaphosa does not take over as president. The ANC is expected to elect its new leadership in December. But provincial conferences leading up to the national conference have been spoiled with violence and disputes over results. In a tweet, Matashi said, and I quote, If President Zuma, with experience, refuses to hand over to Deputy President, we will be in a crisis. Let us find a woman to be Deputy President for succession to be managed, unquote. The view of the ANC is that uh, from the but Damantash has abandoned his responsibility of being the Secretary General. He has become the head of the lobby group and part of the chief lobbyist of the Deputy President, which unfortunately would mean that um, would have to would have to deal with the Secretary General, who is now a lobbyist, uh, who, who, who who speaks as if uh, he was not the Secretary General. I do not know whether this is the formula or a criteria of electing leadership that he has recently composed in his mind. But so far as the ANC processes are concerned, we know all of the, we know that as the ANC you think those processes do not prescribe who to elect. You know, I we want to believe this matter in the as the UK because this thing of uh, people saying that uh, it becomes automatically that the deputy president must, must take over from the, the president. And, uh, and uh, they say and they argue that this is a culture. We cannot have a situation where the secretary general wants to manipulate and arrange the appointment of the president of the ANC. We are not some cabal. We are a democratic organization that makes use of democratic processes to appoint our leaders and we affirm and empower the members of our branches who are delegates at the National Elective Conference through that democratic process. I think um, it's one of those cases where the Secretary General of the ANC misspoke, but also he was also expressing his own preference. But in terms of the democratic process of the ANC, his statements were out of order. First of all, you have a president who has never declared that he wants to be a president for life. And secondly, you have a president who has indicated that he has no intention of serving the third term. And thirdly, it is not the business of the Secretary General to be able to say, to say somebody might be unwilling when the president has not expressed that sense of unwillingness. And third, fourthly, I think you should also respect the branches, that the process of who gets appointed is a, a democratic process. It's not something that you, you will because you are a person who is an administrator of the organization. Yeah, the, the most important issue is that the, the outcome is not known up front unless the elections are already rigged. So this is a, an irresponsible statement by the Secretary General of the ANC. I remember the first tweet that came when Mr. Mantashe said, if the president of the ANC, Mr. Jacob Zuma, does not hand over to the current deputy president, the ANC will be in a dire situation. At first, I thought that perhaps his account was hacked and it could not be the Secretary General who was speaking because I wanted to know uh, how a handover process is. In my knowledge, the branches of the ANC vote. The ANC is a democratic and constitutional organization. I don't think there is a handover ceremony. I don't believe that uh, there is an appointment to be the leader of the ANC. It is an elected position. It is a position one can campaign for. However, he's come at it again and cited that uh, if Mr. Ramaphosa doesn't take this uh, position, the ANC is as good as finished. It seems to be a, a lobbying attempt. And I don't want to cite that uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Mantashe is seeming like a lobbyist group or the, the lobby leader for Mr. Ramaphosa, but that's how it's uh, coming across.